and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul. Obviously I might as well just be a whole channel the amount I do them. But I have another haul and it's slightly different because it's a holiday haul full of random stuff but mainly stationery related. So I actually I did just do a holiday haul but that was before going on holiday whereas this is a holiday haul of stuff I bought whilst I was on holiday. So if you enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already and I will get on with showing you the things I bought whilst away in Slovenia. There was this shop with a load of quotes on bags, purses, like pencil casings, makeup bags, um, like drawstring bags, notebooks and everything there you could get personalised with names. So I got a few things done for other people and then I got one for myself, so I got this tote bag which says just let me shop and no one gets hurt, which seemed very me, especially on that day, because, you know, just wanted to look around the shops. And it, I basically wanted a bag like this for, like, extra stuff for uni, because I can't always fit everything in my bag, but mainly lunch stuff. So then it'll be easy to fold up once I've had my lunch and pop the actual bag back in. But on the back, it has my name and a flower. So because it was a big one, she did a flower on it for me as well. But it's just so cute, it's such a nice idea. And I think that bag was 14 euros, but I'm not entirely sure. But it was free to get it personalised as well, everything was just the same price. Um, so I did also get a few bits and bobs for some other people, but like I said, I can't really show them. So I also got a passport cover. I don't have a passport cover and seeing as I'm going to a few places this year, I figured it was about time I got one so it's easier for me to tell like which one's mine really and oh it's a cat one so it's really cute. Um, and this is the company Sass and Bell. Quite a few of the things I got were from Sass and Bell because they're so lovely. I have a few things from them already but I've never actually been into a boutique shop or anything like that in England where they have a lot of their stuff and there were several in Ljubljana. I don't know if I'm saying that right but I think so. Um, but yeah, I love, so there's a few things like this. This was €9.90. Great. I also picked up this for a, one of my best friends, um, which is just the, oh, I don't know if you can tell, it's mountains carved into dark chocolate. And I just thought this was a nice idea of something to get for her. Also... How cool are these? I think these, are, oh no, these are another home gift thing that I got for another friend. Um, that just reminded me of her, so. Hello, great ideas, don't forget to shop on it, you can clip stuff together. So I'm gonna give her those tomorrow, along with a card. And then, okay, so it doesn't look as cool now, but this came in, the, it was so nicely wrapped. I couldn't believe it. And it says, you are so loved. They stuck a sticker on the top, tiny bow. But because of traveling back home, it got a bit destroyed. First thing is the test tube, test tube challenge. Off the chain, the category game with Ashley. They had a few of these. And this one is, um, they're just like little games where you, you, what do you, what's the word? You read the statement out and then everybody has to keep going around and answering the question until someone like stutters, can't think of anything, stumbles, whatever, pauses, that they're out. So I want to do this in a YouTube video. And the example here is things not to say on a first date. So one person said, I Googled you. One, I think I love you. One, you're much nicer than your sister. So things like that, which I thought was a really fun idea generally, but also to do a video with. And this was eight euros 90. Oh, see, so nicely packaged. It's like such a pretty envelope. And then it says, you're gonna love this sticker. See, this is why I wanted to film this before I opened all this stuff and I need to use the stuff now. So that time I did it. So this one's Busy Bee. I love Busy Bee as well. Um, it's a desktop calendar. Month. Uh, featuring a month of you plus useful pockets for storing all those tickets and invitations. This essential calendar will you, uh, has a handy stand making it ideal for a clutter-free home, office or kitchen. Oh, it's so pretty. It's €10.50. Looks like this. And I'm just going to open it. Hello 2018. Oh, it's just so cute. So it looks like that and then obviously you can 
pop it out as a stand if you get me. So I'm going to have this on my desk at uni and it will make life a lot easier to see what's going on when. And I can then use my other diary like to take around with me. Okay, so this was from a different shop but I popped it in here because it was similar style stuff. How pretty is this? Oh, there's more in there. Okay, I have this which is of Ljubljana. Um, I just thought this was really pretty and I have a lot of posters and stuff like on my wardrobe door and I love that area and I'm always looking for more to get there and this just jumped out at me as one thing to have and also this because I think this will go with the other stuff that I've got I just thought these were pretty they're actually postcards but I want them to stick on my wall I don't know how much they were I think they're about three euros and also okay so I got these two for two of my flatmates, housemates, because they just remind me so much of them. So I have this one, which is a chicken painted and says, I could be a raccoon. This is for Indy that I love her because she loves raccoons and it just seems so much like something she would like. And then this is for Kim because it was just reminding me of Kim. And it's a chicken, <laughs> chicken dressed in like feathers and stuff. And it says, chicken who? I'm an Indian peacock. They were along the same lines, but I just thought I'm gonna get them for them. So hopefully they don't watch this or this doesn't go up before I see them to give it to them. And then another cute envelope. And it says, you are gonna love this on this sticker. Oh, I ripped it. Okay. So in this, let me move this away. I have letters to the graduate to the graduates right now read lead to treasure forever it's a paper time catch and i thought this was a really lovely idea i would have got more for other people as gifts but they only had one in and i really wanted it for myself so it's got um you place magazine underneath your letter to perfectly prop your writing what it says you've come so far i remember when then you can write the sealed on and to be opened on date so you can open it and write on it which is just such a lovely idea and then I can like, um, the stickers and stuff at the end so I can keep it sealed, ready for after I graduate. And I'm gonna write these throughout the year. Proud of you because, way to go, it was fantastic when you, I believe in you because, as you move on to new adventures, I hope you. I wish someone had given me this good advice. You have so much to offer the world. I wish for you, and then a couple of others. And then at the end, there's stickers. It's just a really lovely idea and this was 13 euros 90. And I also from that shop, this was 10 euros 90 from Caroline Gardner, who I've also seen around. Like, I don't know if I've got anything of hers, but I like the stuff. And it's stuck on you with over 600 stickers for my diary or calendar. So it's got here, there's some of the stickers. Night in, date night, wedding, party, birthday. Let's party, happy birthday. Time for tea, dinner date, brunch, drinks, coffee date. Girls night out, OMG, love this, must have. Shopping, dentist, medical, haircut. Oh my God, it's just perfect. Like I can't wait. This is what I've been waiting for, to do this video so I can then, in the, I'm going out later, but I can then, next couple of hours, organize my life and get it all sorted in my diary and calendar and it makes me immensely happy and then from s oliver which is a brand i've never really seen in england but i've bought something from in germany i think or if not i've just been in i bought this t-shirt which is 12.99 euros and 12 euros 99 and it says smile every day with heart eyes and i truly believe this is a good way to live life. I know it's not always possible to smile and like when people say, oh, just smile, whatever. I'm not saying you have to, but I think it helps if you laugh each day and smile each day. I think it's good mentally. So that's why I particularly like this one. And then I have this, a very similar top. I've worn it, so I can't show you. I should have worn that one as well, but it's still in the wash, um, which is pink, a light pink, like this sort of color. Um, maybe a little bit darker and it just has eyelashes where those hearts were so yeah and finally this one was a bit of an annoying one so i bought this 
Where is it? Okay. This money box says hopes and dreams. Should say hopes and dreams. It doesn't say hopes and dreams because it's mirrored and it's incredibly annoying because obviously it's from Slovenia. Can't go back and return it and get a different one, but I picked up a faulty one. I've tried to swap the glass around and it's properly stuck in. The only way to do it is to break it. So I'm just accepting that I don't have hopes and dreams. I have smeared Dna Seppo as my dad said it was. My mum gave him a deep message for it and I've forgotten what it was. And then Kim said something like, oh, your hopes and dreams will come true, but maybe not in the way you expect. So I'm going with those. But ultimately, I just think it's a lesson for 2018 to always double check things before you buy them, especially if you're buying abroad and cannot return the item. Because it was something like 20 euros as well, so oh well. Anyway, if it had been right, it would have been perfect. It's so cute. And I want this because I saw someone do this on Twitter and I really love the idea. Every book I read this year, I'm going to put a pound in and every time I go to the gym, I'm putting 50p in so that like towards the end of the year, I can see how much I've earned and like I'm rewarding myself for doing things that are going to benefit me, if that makes sense. So yeah, I've got one pound 50 in there so far. Um, which isn't bad considering I only got this like two, three days ago, four days ago. I think that's all right. So yeah, excited for that. So if anybody else is interested in doing that, I really recommend it because I think it will be nice at the end of the year to be like, oh, this is really satisfying. So that is everything I bought from Slovenia. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comments down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.